with Mikhail from Kindred. Now, Mikhail, tell me, what is it that Kindred do and what are you showcasing here? So, basically, we, we have two parts of the stand. We have one part which is affiliation mainly. So Kindred is, uh, is our corporate brand, but we have over 10 consumer brands. One of them being Unibet.com, we have Maria, we have Bingo. We have, we have loads of amazing consumer brands. What we showcase here is basically our Kindred brand in Malta, uh, our carrier. The, uh, we have actually the best place to work in Malta. Employee, we have 94% of employees locally super satisfied with, with the environment, with Kindred strategy, what we want to do, what we want to achieve. And uh, yeah, that's, that's why, you know, we're here. Brilliant. And what do you think are the, the kind of the innovations that you're seeing within the iGaming industry? So I, uh, I'm heading payment for the group. So I'll speak a bit uh, about the innovation around payment, which is mainly PSD2, open banking. We're seeing a lot of fintech, you know, investing money into open banking. And we're, yeah, we're exploring that at the moment. At the same time, we have lots of stuff in relation to virtual reality, cool technology, and how we could use that uh, towards our customer base. And uh, because we want to have, or we have, the best product, but we want to enhance that and make it super simple and super, super fun for all our clients. And how are these new innovations creating new opportunities within the iGaming industry? A couple of years ago, everyone was playing on that old desktop, and today we have over 75% of revenue coming from mobile. So this is a basic innovation that everyone can understand. And, uh, and today, we are mobile focused. We're trying to offer the best experience on desktop, obviously, but also on mobile using the latest technology, being payment, being product, being virtual reality, etc. Brilliant. And what are the main challenges facing uh, the industry within 2019? So the industry as a whole is, the, I think, the, the regulation overall. It's a massive challenge. Uh, thanks God we are brilliant at it and uh, thanks God we have loads of people working towards you know, making it extremely smooth, extremely secure for our players. Uh, responsible gaming, it, it's a massive challenge. Uh, but again, we started responsible gaming years ago. It was almost our, it was our strategy from day one. So I think we have a huge competitive advantage. But this is something that all operators should really focus on. What are the gaming acts that companies need to be conscious of and how, how are businesses reacting well to the, all, the, all the new acts that are coming in? In terms of, of gaming and what's happening with the gaming sphere, there is a huge focus today uh, uh, driven by the regulator around verification. Uh, and uh, we are using the main verification tool in all of our core country. And I think this is something that people really need to focus on because if you don't verify your player, uh, if you cannot as associate a customer account with a name, with an email address, with, you know, it's, we want to create that very safe environment, which we do, and, uh, and this is key. Um, and finally, uh, can I get you in one word just to say uh, what's, what Sigma is to you? It's an opportunity to meet a partner, uh, to discuss business opportunity, and uh, yeah, we've seen some very cool stand around here, so we're, we're really enjoying our time here. Good. And in one word, sum up Sigma. Uh, amazing, I think it's good. Amazing is good. Amazing is good. <laughs>